So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, women and f femen and and males and whales, how are you all doing? It's a uh, good old Manicado back once again playing some Manual Samuel. It's about to be released today. Published by good old Curve Digital, as they say. I believe it's gonna be on. Let me check if it's on Steam. It's probably been on Steam for about seven years already. <laughs> no, it's it's coming out today on Steam as well in approximately 17 hours and also Gamer Guy wants it because he's a loser. Hey Cannibal. So yeah, this is Manuel Samuel. It's about to go live on Xbox in a few seconds or so. So uh, yeah, let's sit back and enjoy the story mode. A new game. Let us enjoy. Our story begins in the middle of the 40s, when a hopeful young soldier called Sam... Oh, uh, we're not doing that? Our story begins in the middle of last Tuesday, where a hopeless young freeloader called Sam is sipping a fancy cup of coffee with a name nobody can pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> Sam was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. But it's not game the actual guy. spoon that he has in his mouth. It's fucking now, game a guy. That is a different spoon. But a figurative spoon that represents all the wealth and attention that he has been receiving from his parents. And their butlers. And their butlers' parents. You're a douche, aren't you, Sam? Blink twice if yes. <laughs> He can't hear me. This is Sam's girlfriend, also not being heard by Sam. She's mad at Sam for his lack of responsibility, used by his large wealth. She also mentions the fact that Sam has forgotten her birthday for the third year in a row. <laughs> Sam's girlfriend is upset. As with most rich and famous brats, Sam does not pick up on that. Instead, he decides to lay this gem. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just <laughs> run around and do stuff. Fuck. And end up with a limp spine then, or something. Sam's girlfriend does something she should have done a long time ago. <laughs> Ow. Fractured jawbone. <laughs> this is gonna be one fucking game, guys. Jeez. I'll tell you already. Sam is laying unconscious on the floor. He gathers his strength and makes an effort to get up. We gotta press up on D-pad to get up. Then he makes another effort to stand up straight. It's gonna be fucking crazy. Let's go. Sam is hit in the head so hard, he has to remind himself how to walk. He takes a right step. Then he takes a left step. Good job, Sam! You're very good at existing. How dare you startle my child! An overprotective mother hurls a cup of oh, coffee fuck. in Sam's face. He has to blink rapidly to regain his vision. Say something, Harold! Oh, gee. How is my hell. son going to become a respected politician if he can't fend for himself? I thought he was going to become an actor. Oh, what's the difference? <laughs> Like, this is kind of funny. Sam pays the guy 500 euros, barely covering the coffee. Thanks for the tip, douchebag. Hey, don't call me a douchebag. Sam decides to hurl another oh, 500 wait. at the guy. Not such a douchebag after all. Fucking Sam is hurling take 500s left and right. <laughs> take my fucking he money. He has no perception of money. Sam is about to spend his whole weekly allowance on tipping a barista named Tony. He really was hit hard in the head. Holy feces. I'll just start my own coffee shop. Once again, Sam makes someone quit their job by tipping them too much. Whoops. So long, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him in the back. <laughs> God, game of God, what have you done? She's pissed, I better move off from her. 
Right, I'll be talking this door. Sam spends a decade making his way out the door, which is pretty good for a guy with a major concussion. As Sam waggles outside, he sees his girlfriend on the other side of the road. Sam pulls himself together and rushes towards his soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. <sighs> Let's go, guys. Let's go to my ex-girlfriend. This is oh. when a septic tank truck approaches Sam with an average speed of 90 Please kilometers per hour. The impact renders him eight types of dead. Rip, gamer guy. Rip, she us. It was nice knowing you, GGS. Why? Why? They give us an achievement, cool. Feces shit happens. Perfectly paranormal. Manual Samuel. Ozan. It got Ozan's name on there. Ozan. Gizzy Salzburg. Oh yeah, it's definitely GG, a simulator. This was his past life. This is what made him redeem himself. Stein flew back. PS was single. <laughs> Long road down to hell. <laughs> Who knew a bottle to the face would result in such a terrible fate for Sam? But a bottle won't be the only thing that will meet Sam's face today. There's also the ground in hell. We're out of hell, guys. Let's get up. Come on, get up. <sighs> Sam Left foot. does not like right being foot. dead a single bit. He Left also foot. hates the right eerie foot. feeling of not having any cash on him. Then, he finds seven glowing notes in his pocket. That makes him feel reasonably better. He checks out that horrible sound he's hearing. Not the horrible sound of the screaming souls around him. The other horribly irritating sound. Have a nice day. I will do, thank you. The source of the sound is none other than obliteration and oblivion, extermination and extinction, the end, decease and demise, the Grim Reaper, death. <laughs> He's trying to do a kickflip on a skateboard and is dressed like a douchebag for some reason. <laughs> In his coarse, horrifying oh, voice, he lays this on Sam. Yo, yo, yo! You must be Sam from the info I was provided. Then he takes a second look at Sam and his eye sockets widen. Holy feces, dude! Your soul be like a diamond! Let me cut you a deal that we can seal. For reals? Aight, man. It decided. The notes in Sam's pocket are something called a shred of life. Every soul has at least one, and it is the biggest unit in Hell's currency, followed by quality of life, school of life, sound of life, meaning of life, and thug life. <laughs> Fuck life. If Fuck you off. give me your shreds, getting, I'll man. resurrect your face and get you out of Hell on one condition. You'll have to survive 24 hours with a handicap I choose under my supervision, bro. Sam decides to check out the rest of hell before doing any deals with supernatural beings. Okay, let's go. One, two. Let's go, guys. Plot, 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 plot. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a plumber. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. All right, that sounds fair. Yes. Sam notices that the souls that get into hell are forced to get a job. 
and become functioning souls of society. For most people, this is okay, but for Sam, it's horrifying. He hurls his shreds at death like he's never hurled piles of money before. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be ooh, a minesweeper. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. Could be worse. Whatever. Kind of sounds fun. <laughs> Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be a struggling freelance artist. Oh my, that'll be all your shreds, dear sir. No! <laughs> this is truly hell! <laughs> well, looks like it's time for lunch, dear sirs and madams. Uh, take all your concern-related concerns up with upper management. See you in five hours. Fucking hell. Sam fluff. has seen enough. He goes back to death and his deal. He keeps take the last fucking shit. for the next time he meets the gatekeeper of hell. Whenever that's going to be. Hehe. <laughs> I bro. I only get to do these deals annually. But if you really want to live in biz, you have to do it manually. Also, I will stop speaking in rhymes now. Psh. Loading and another achievement. Cool. To hell with hell. Complete level two. Dollar boat, yo. Sam has just traveled through time, space, and logic, and finds himself fully alive, and more importantly, rich again. His joy is only dimmed by the fact that he can't move at all. Ah, oh, fucking this hell. This is when he shows up. Death. Yo, yo, yo! Oh, yeah, you look horrible. I mean, <laughs> you look great, bro. Uh, you be okay? Can you nope. hear me? I'm not okay. Um, blink twice if yes. There you go. Oh, cool. You be alive. Everything be fine. Aight, so, this here be the dealing biz. All your body functions be manual, so you kind of have to do stuff on purpose. Um, you be turning kind of blue. Might want to consider breathing. Brief. <sighs> All right, bitchin. You be blinking and breathing. Happy bitchin. Oh no. So, all right. Go survive for a day, and I'll let you live normally for the rest of your life. If you somehow die within the next 24 hours, you'll go to hell, and I'll keep your shreds forever. I'll be over there doing kick flips if you need me. Once again, Sam has to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. And once again, he has to remind himself how like difficult this is. Oh, by the way, <laughs> you be getting late for work. Sam does something that resembles walking toward the bathroom. Gonna do a kickflip now. Uh, blink as well. Sam tries out a strange maneuver by stepping with the same leg twice. Hi, let's see. Yeah. Sure, let's Sam has some trouble with his posture Shit. and has to focus on his spine. Sam's vision is blurrier than a Norwegian teenager at a wedding. He decides to blink. <gasps> Fuck. Sam holds on oh, to that no. toothbrush like his life depends on it. Ah. Sam is dumb enough to breathe in with his mouth full of water. He has to cough. <laughs> Fuck. Blink, Sam! Blink! Blink. With that clean difficult. teeth, Sam is ready to smile. He won't for at least 24 hours, though. <sighs> he has to use his 